Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm a huge fan of the solar lights that you can pick up at places like the Dollar Tree. I like to buy the solar path lights, the solar panels on the top, and then the light will be down here in like a little fixture or like a jar type uh, apparatus. They also have some pathway lights that are like spotlights and these work really well too. You can use these to light up your gate, point them at a bush, a lighted trail. These are very nice also. These pathway solar lights, like so many items, are not available at the Dollar Tree where I've been shopping. And so what can you do to make these still continue to work and last longer? All of these types of solar panel lights from Dollar Tree have a solar panel that is actually charging a little rechargeable battery inside. These two have a triple A battery. You can see the battery through the spotlight. You can see there's a little yellow battery through the little slot. And there are four little tiny screws. The circular path light, you don't see that there's a battery inside, but you can also take out two screws. But the easiest way then to open this is take out the screws, then attach the lamp part back in so that you can easily pull it apart without disrupting any of the wires inside. Then you can look inside and see each one has a tiny triple A yellow battery. I looked online and I was able to find a 10 pack of these batteries. You can see this has the same lettering and configuration as the batteries inside the solar lights. You don't ever want to use just a regular AAA battery. They're not designed to be in the solar panel. They're not designed to be rechargeable. So don't mix them up. Make sure that you look for the yellow batteries that are designed for recharging. I was able to buy 10 of these on Amazon for just under $9, which while the lights cost $1 each, the batteries are 90 cents each. So if you can't get them, it's still a better deal to buy the battery and continue to get use out of your light. I also was able to buy the little precision screwdriver set at the Dollar Tree so that I could remove the tiny screws. First, I undid the four screws on the spotlight and you can see where the battery is and you sort of need to jiggle it a little bit so that you can pop the battery out. And the battery is out and now I can take the brand new battery and insert it into the spot. Make sure that you still pay attention to where the plus and the minus end go. So while I've never seen these batteries at the Dollar Tree, I did get them on Amazon. They may be available other places, but that's where I bought these. Unwrap your battery and then look into the light fixture and you want to nestle it in, oops, pay attention to the plus and the minus end. The minus end goes down where the little spring is. And then if you had to bend any of it, push it back. Then you can just nestle it all back in together. Then I can put the screws back in. Okay. For the round pathway light, I unscrewed this section so that I could reach the two little screws. But then I put it back on here so that I can easy, easily pull it apart without disturbing the wires and you can see where the battery is. And it does need to be bent out a little bit to try to get that battery out. So just carefully bend up the little tabs. You can remove the old battery and pay attention to the plus and the minus. The minus is where the spring is. Line up the screw holes, then you can still remove this so that you can easily screw the little screws back in and then it's ready to go. Look them over before you order batteries because this little smaller one says two thirds double A. And when you take it apart you can see that the little battery is a different size. Try this easy fix for your Dollar Tree solar lights. Get the most use out of your solar lights. Plus, if you just have rechargeable batteries, realize that you can use the solar light to recharge batteries maybe you want to use in a different device. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.